Google Docs now has watermarks you can place behind your text. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, a recent update is bringing watermarks to Google Docs. Now, this will work for new Google Documents, old Google Documents, as well as Microsoft Word files that you're bringing into your Google Drive. So let's see it in action. Here in a Google Doc with random text, I'm going to go to the Insert menu. Let's click on Insert and you will see the new feature watermark. Now, if you do not see this yet, it's being rolled out to rapid release domains before scheduled to release domains. And so at some point you will see this feature. We're going to click on that and this opens up a side menu. Here we can now select our image. Now we're going to click on select image and this pulls up all the images from your Google Drive. You can also use photos, Google images, a URL, your camera to take a picture or upload a file. I'm going to select this image right here of Google Calendar. I'm going to click on that and it's automatically pulled in as a watermark. You will see now as I scroll down, that watermark is behind the text. Now it's faded because I have selected faded here. If I untick this, you will see that full image. So I do want it faded. We can also change the scale of the image and make it much smaller or larger. So I'm going to leave it at this and scrolling down, you will see that every page has this watermark. This is incredibly useful when you're trying to share documents. Maybe you are adding text that says do not copy confidential, or maybe it's about branding and you want to have your school logo on that document. Now, what happens when we pull in a Microsoft Word document? Here in my Google Drive, let's upload a Microsoft Word document that already has a watermark. So we're going to go to our desktop, get that document, and just simply drop it into our Google Drive. This will be uploaded. And here you will see watermark Word has been uploaded. I can open up this document and you can see that that watermark is brought into my document. If I now turn this into a Google Doc and save a copy as a Google Doc, this watermark will also be brought over into my Google document. So here you can see I have that confidential watermark there. I can right click and then select the image to change that image, maybe crop it or resize it. So overall, a very useful update coming to Google Docs. We've been waiting for this and it's finally here. Let me know, how are you going to use watermarks? Is it something that you've been waiting for? And are you as excited about this as I am? Next, go and watch this video with even more tips and tricks for Google Docs. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.